Hello everyone, this is Pratibha. I'm a final year student and my stream is Computer Science and Engineering. I have placed in Cognizant and also in Infosys through InfiTQ certification exam. Now I would like to share my experience of InfiTQ certification exam like how I cleared this screening test which is called qualifying round for 2022 batch and how I prepared for my final round and interview. Let's get started. To appear for this exam, students must register in the website provided by Infosys. We have provided the link of the website in the description, you can check out there. The simple eligibility criteria for this exam is, the student must be a graduate in 2022 of any degree, irrespective of their branch. The first round in this InfiTQ certification exam is qualifying round. To attend this qualifying round, Students must book a slot in the website. Be wise in choosing a slot. Coming to the pattern, qualifying round consists of multiple choice questions from the concepts of Python, database management system and aptitude. For further information about the pattern, go through the link added in the description. And remember, this qualifying round is a filtration round. So be careful while attending the exam as it is web proctored exam and there will be a negative marking for every wrong answer. That is, you will lose quarter of the mark for your wrong choice. One more thing I would like to add in qualifying round is, we will get a test link along with login ID and one-time password one day before the exam. Using this login ID and one-time password, we need to log in into the test link and we need to set a new password. Remember this password that you are setting now for further use. While entering login ID and one-time password, we must be very careful because if you enter wrong, your test link will be blocked. Or if you entered into the test link and close the tab without setting a new password, your test link will be blocked. This is the process that we have gone through. It might be same or different for 2022 batch. So, go through the instructions carefully that are provided in the mail. This is all about qualifying down. Upon clearing the qualifying round, we will get a mail for the final round. This final round consists of two programming questions and 20 multiple choice questions. Again, this is a web proctored exam without negative marking. But we need to score above 65% to qualify this round. Coming to the coding questions, I have collected all the previous InfiTQ coding questions from the internet and I have solved all those programs. This made me to brush up all the syntaxes and predefined functions which helped me a lot in the final exam. Coming to the MCQs, the pattern is same as in the qualifying round. To qualify this round, we have to complete at least one and a half program. This is all about final round. If we score above 65% in the final round, we will get a chance for the interview. I have prepared all the OOPS concepts with real-time examples, Python syntaxes and predefined functions, DBMS concepts and examples. At the time of my interview, the interviewer asked me to introduce myself first and later he asked me about the OOPS concepts with examples. And later he gave a scenario in database and asked me to give a solution for that. This is all about my experience in clearing Infosys certification exam. If we crack the interview, we will get a mail from the Infosys informing that we have selected for the system engineer role at Infosys offering 3.6 lakhs per annum. Coming to my experience, I have taken this exam in 2020 in the month of February. Before attending to this exam, I have learned all the OOPS concepts in Python and SQL and NoSQL topics in DBMS. And I have also gone through the learning modules provided in the registration website. 
the most of the questions I came across in the exam are like prediction of output from the given code snippet and prediction of output table from the given query. So concentrate on flow of execution of query like which part of the query is executing first and how it is affecting the result. Similarly, concentrate on flow of execution of data structures code and execution of classes and objects.